Anyways, she's in the trailer, not in the movie. Some fans of hers went to go see the movie. She was not in the movie. So they, they decided to sue. Okay, so they sued Universal, which is the company that put the movie out. And they just won. What's up, Michael Dreyer? Yeah, what up, Cameron Van Hoy? How you living, bro? I'm good. How are you? Good, bro. I'm good. I'm good. A little tired today, so, you know, excuse my energy. You're excused. What you been doing, Mike? Well, I've been taking copious amounts of drugs for long hours of the night. Got it. Trying to find my soul. Yeah. I feel like through the comments we've been getting, I have none, apparently. Yeah. So I really just wanted to search deep and see if that was true or not. And um, I think they're right. Yeah, no, they're right. I mean, it's amazing that it took you until YouTube comments to recognize that you were soulless. Yeah, I was like, I got a soul? What are you talking about? And then I I, I, I found out. I don't. Yeah. You have the soul of a worm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have the soul of a single-celled organism. Yes. More of a, um, an amoeba, I think they're called. Uh, amoeba. Amoeba? Yeah. Amoeba. amoeba. <laughs> yeah. I think there's an uh, N in that word. I okay. think it's like A-M-N. I think it's like the N is silent. Yeah. Yeah. And to think we wanted to do a podcast about uh, finance. Yeah. Biology. Yeah. The biology podcast is going to be Epic. fire. Yeah. That's yeah. I can't wait to get into biology with you. Right. You know, yeah. we should we Maybe should fire really... like fire festival was fire. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. Well, I want to I want to kick it off. I want to talk about some movie stuff. There's something really interesting that happened that I want to talk about. What, bro? Okay. So there was a lawsuit. There was a movie. This movie called Yesterday. You remember this movie? I never saw it. It was about yeah, yeah, yeah. like it used all the Beatles music. Yeah. 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 Okay. So in the movie yesterday, there's a tra- there's a trailer for the movie, obviously. And in the trailer, they have Anna de Arms, right? Ooh. Anna de Arms, am I saying her Anna name? Anna de Armas, okay. Armas, right. Anna de Armas. She's in the trailer. I guess mm-hmm. she was in the movie, but they cut her out of the movie for some uh-huh. reason. Okay. I think this was probably before she really became as big as she was. or so- I don't know what I'm happened. Down, she- She's not in the movie. But mm-hmm. they put her in the trailer. So they probably made the movie. She probably blew up. And then they're like, oh, God, like, what do we do? Like, let's just get her in the trailer. You know what I mean? Let people know that, like, she was in the movie or something. I don't know. Anyways, she's in the trailer, not in the movie. Some fans of hers went to go see the movie. She was not in the movie. So they, they decided to sue. Okay, so they sued Universal, which is the company that put the movie out. And they just won. What? They won the lawsuit. So because they won this lawsuit, this judge ruled in their favor. So this creates like this whole new precedent. Based, based on what, what? What were they? False advertisement? Yeah. False advertisement. That was definitely People one. get cut out of movies. Yeah, but I guess now you got to cut them out of the trailer. The you, you know, look, Sony's argument was that the trailer is a story in and of itself. And it's this, you know, it's this interpretive thing that kind of creates and tells the mood of the movie, things like this. Right. Um, But now this new lawsuit sets precedent that you got to kind of, you can't mislead the audience with a trailer, which is kind of crazy. They do it all the time. They mislead me into thinking it's going to be a good movie. (laughs) Yeah. Well, well, so that's 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 the question. Does this open it up? Does this open up litigation for a variety of different things with trailers? Look, this is what I really want to know is who the fuck are these people that's suing? suing? Who are I want to know yeah. everything about these individuals. What how old they are, where they come from, what they look like, what their fucking mental problems are. Like what time it had to have been it sounds like a like a frat bro goof like bro let's fucking sue them and they go like yo let's see what happened and they did it and they're like i think we're gonna be on to something and then they that then they won like who in their right mind would take that shit seriously mind blowing. Um, mind blowing it's a wonderful question yeah who saw the movie and went okay anna was not in that movie and then they were like i i feel I feel like I was lied to. 
You know, right? Like, what's the conversation? They're like, I don't what know. I, mean, they, I think we should sue. Right? What? Okay. What did they sue for? The ticket back? It's, yeah. So it's like it's okay. So it's like you come out of the movie. Your your actor that was in the trailer is not in the movie. And you're like, what? They were in the trailer. They're not in the movie. They're like that. That was a that was. I went to go see that movie because of them. You go to the front of the theater. You're like, hey, can I get my money back? Like, I yeah. wasn't happy with that. Like, that was not cool. Theater gives the money back, but then you take it a step further. And then you're like, you know what? I can't get my time back though. My time. <laughs> yeah, my time is <laughs> like, worth a million dollars. My time is worth hours. something. Yeah. And I really feel like I was lied to and just kind of treated really unfairly. I think I'm going to sue. Right. So then like, do you seek out a lawyer? Did they seek out a lawyer and go, Hey, I've been wronged. Okay. Let me explain to you what happened. Anna de Armas was supposed to be in this movie and she wasn't. And I want to sue. And then what lawyers like, Hmm, you might have a case here. Yeah, yeah. And that brings me to the second question. Who is this lawyer and what does he look like? I'm imagining a huge mustache and some slick back hair, just like a <laughs> Yeah, whoa, oh, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. I think we got a case here. Got... No, 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 put it on hold. Put it on hold. Uh like he's gotta be first, just first first off, I wanna just my condolences for your loss. I know time is a very valuable commodity, and what they did to you is wrong. He's it's just wrong. Gotta... He's got to be such a snake oil salesman. Who who picks that up and goes, yeah, yeah, we have a case. And they won. Based on what? What did they get it? Like, what was, how many? That was years ago. Like, yeah, how, this is how long this lawsuit's been going on for? Something. What? This is how long this lawsuit's been going on for four years? That's about how long a lawsuit like this will take. How much money did they spend on this fucking lawsuit? And what did they get out of it? Yeah. Do you know what they got out of it? Hmm. I think they got a lot of money. How? How do you? How do you? I want to know if they got anything more than like a ticket worth of. The only thing I could see is be like, hey, you know damages, what? Like, man. I, damages. I make forty dollars an hour, and those were two hours I could have been working instead. So I want eighty bucks. Like damages. What, what damages? This this country. So now movie movie studios can now be sued under false advertising. Um, yeah, but it takes a if they release person. deceptive movie trailers. It takes a but special. This, no, no, this was just ruled. This is a new thing that movie studios can be sued for this. Right, uh, but so it takes a special kind of moral. They movies. walked away with. I'm blown away by this man. Like this country, this is just. Uh, I don't know if this is what makes this country great. Or oh, terrible. even better. Even better. They didn't even go to the movie theater. They paid $3.99 to rent it on Amazon Prime. And they and they were seeking $5 million. Oh, my God. As representatives of a class of movie oh customers. So they could upgrade their trailer that they're living in. Fucking kidding me. Amazing. You know, it was like, yo, pal. <laughs> Pa, I feel I've been wrong. Well, we got a case, boy. We got a case. Yeah, yeah. it says they're out of San Diego, so, you know. Oh, okay. Know. Well, that's not how people in San Diego sound. No. <laughs> Is that not a good – you're no. from San Diego. Is that not a good uh, San Diego accent? No. No, it's not. So Dude, I that is really interesting. I mean, you know, who knows how that's going to change things, but it certainly is precedent, and uh, it's just crazy to me. I mean, that's crazy. You know, what I mean? it's so crazy. crazy. You shouldn't be, be able on. to sue over a movie trailer. If the movie, if the movie is really not what the trailer promised to be, then guess what? Tell your friends. Don't go the see it. The movie's gonna tank, and that's it, right? Like, go, go, go. Just say it. Say the movie sucked. It yeah. looked good, and it wasn't. You know how yeah. many times that's happened in my life? Yeah. Never once. Did I ever think I should sue them? Imagine if I imagine if I watched a trailer, and then go see the movie, and there's like a song in the trailer that's not in the movie, and I'm like, yeah. uh, "That's my yeah. favorite song." How about this? Okay, um, excuse me. I went to see a minute and a half movie. That thing was fucking two hours long. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what the fuck, guys? Yeah. Where was the deep voice guy who was like? In a world. Yeah. I came to see that guy. I came for that guy. I'm a huge fan. Huge fan. I'm a huge oh, fan. I was shit. expecting the movie to be narrated by him. That's so it's just, there's nothing more to say about that than I really feel like this is a reflection of the uh, 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 
an issue we have in this country. <laughs> everyone wants to sue everyone for everything. Yeah, I mean, and apparently I stories. Can. I remember he, you always could. I remember you'd hear these stories about like people suing, you know, McDonald's because the coffee's too hot. Which, by the way, like right, that the case. coffee is way too hot. There, I, you know, should there be some quality control on how hot the coffee is? I mean, it shouldn't be like just blow on the coffee. Yeah, and I, I, I know this. Coffee's you know, hot. Look, if someone if gave you want me cold scolding coffee, get a cold hot coffee, root. listen. If someone gave me scolding hot coffee, I'd be upset if it spilled on me. Okay. Here's the thing. If it spills on you, that's on you, bro. Learn how to hold a cup of fucking what if, coffee. What if someone gives you scolding hot coffee and you just you take a nice big sip and it burns the hell out of your tongue? So, so here's the thing. Um, it's not my first day on this earth. If someone gives me hot coffee, first of all, the nerve endings at the tips of my finger, they tell me right away, oh yeah. shit, this is fucking hot. Yeah. Then I go, you know, I've learned this lesson before. So my muscle memory goes, blow on it. Right. Don't drink what right blow. away. Blow. I mean, you're an idiot. All right. It's like when that a person breaks into your house and they could sue you if they get hurt in your home. Which Usually, is crazy. I, it's like a California thing. It's not everywhere. It, trust me, that law does not exist in Texas. No, no, no definitely not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Definitely not. You're right about that. Only yeah. in a place like California, you yeah. know, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. Oregon, like yeah. the the burglar has rights. Right. Right. His feelings you know, in, were hurt. In, in, in his California, feelings were hurt when he broke in and found you had nothing to take. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Well, moving on from that crazy. Mo moving on from got? that. Moving on from that. A sad day in the world of movies. Um, but hey, guys, get ready to start suing because there's going to be a lot of money to be had. Lawyer up. Lawyer up and start Lawyer watching up. trailers. Hey, if you can't fix it. Speaking of which. Speaking have of you which. Seen Barbie? We watch. Yeah. So we watched the Barbie trailer. Yeah, we did. Now, I have a feeling there's going to be a big lawsuit for this Ooh. one. Because the the trailer's not the movies are not going to be as good as that trailer. Because people are going to go and they go, "This isn't Space Odyssey 2000." Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so so you saw the trailer. What what did you think of the Barbie trailer? I thought it was very unique and interesting. Yeah, I liked I it. it too. I liked it too. It was cool. I liked it a lot. It caught my attention. Um, they they're doing at least from the trailer. It seems they're doing something very interesting there. Uh I like how they, yeah, I like how they they parallel Space Odyssey and throw in the doll. I mean, it's it's a cool trailer, yeah. Yeah, and she is, good lord, that's a beautiful, beautiful starlet. Yeah, she's she's insane. She's insane. Insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's amazing. Um, Ryan so Gosling yeah, looks like a fool. What? I'm joking. You said Ryan Gosling. I looks said like Ryan Gosling looks like a fool. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I saw no, two. no, I'm joking. It's cool. Hey, someone had to do it. Someone, someone had, had to, to step it. up and play. I Ken. mean, if there's anyone who's gonna play Ken in this Hollywood, it's, it's Ryan Gosling. Be. Ryan Gosling. They paired those two up perfect. Yeah, they showed that, there was like this like know, image. There was this image of like all the great actors like that were excited for their movies next year, you know, and like had all these images of all these like guys and everything. And then there was just the image of Ryan Gosling like looking like Ken. Like you know? Ken. Doing um, like a dance move, yeah. He took uh, one for the so team. What do you think of it? I think. Look, I think the trailer looks great. I think. Yeah. The, I think the the trailer looked great when they got into like the musical esque section, like at the very end, they like kind of, you know, flash the world of it. You know, I was like, oh, okay, I don't know the blue. There's like this blue world he was in. Just like the sky's blue, the ground's blue. It's like this the blue metaverse like thing. You know, we'll see. Um, it didn't Love give it. you a lot. It didn't give you a lot. Look, great trailer. I mean, what Greta, could it be Greta, about? Greta Gerwig is awesome. I loved Lady Bird. I loved that movie. I thought Lady that movie Bird was so good. Right. That's what I she I think did. she's just wonderful. Uh, both of those actors love Ryan Gosling, love um, Margot Robbie. Yeah. So I'm excited. They're fun to watch. They're fun to watch. They are movie stars. Um, so yeah, but you know, it's like, what could it be about? It's like, it's a book and they have to like completely fabricate a story. There is no backstory of Barbie. Well, right? that's, look, that's the same thing that they had to do with, um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Really? Oh, Cause it was just a ride. It was a ride. Yeah. Yeah. yeah true. That's true. A ride. 
It's pirates. Very Let's true. make a movie about this ride. Yeah, that's true. You know, come up with a story. Yeah. Okay. She's a so we're going to take a Disney ride. Okay. It's going to be great. The lead of this movie is going to be a blacked out drunken pirate. <laughs> Who is the most drug addicted <laughs> yeah, actor yeah. in Hollywood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a kids' ride. It's a kids. We want this to be for the family here, but who's really got ride. that bad boy reputation? So let's get the most drugged out guy to play a blacked out drunk throughout the whole movie. This fits. Fits. I mean, he almost got fired, right? I mean, well, that's not what they wanted at all. Yeah, I think there was a lot of trouble. Completely trying. changed. The tone yeah, of I that. Think, I think the story was he showed up on set to do it, and they were like, "What the fuck is he doing?" <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, yeah. they were like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa!" And yeah. he's like, "How do I know? How do I know?" I'm saying you know, he's like doing yeah. all this stuff, and, yeah. the, and Disney's probably just like watching the rushes, going, "Right, I wonder what they thought." You know what I'm saying? Like, like, get them out of here. What did they think that they were gonna get, and then what did they get? Look, Johnny Depp has always taken, even up until that point, he'd always taken characters and done great things. Edward Scissors, ha- Scissor Hands. Um, what else is there? He did Buster Wait, Keaton. What did Tom Badal, our good buddy, say about him and Edward Scissor Hands? Was it him? What did he like, say? What did he do? <laughs> he just walked around like, is that, was that him? Maybe. I don't remember. Oh, I Sounds like a Tom take. I was, hoping, I was hoping you remember the story. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because. Getting, a, you know, I mean, all obviously, mostly all the movies that these movie stars are doing, they're offers, right? They're not auditioning. Some of them, I guess, are if they're competing against other movie stars. I'm sure there's some, you know, right? There's uh, there's camera testings and all that. For but, certain directors, certain projects. Right. But, like, you know, it is a little nerve-wracking because all the time, like, times I've been offered a role to do, it's actually the most pressured more more pressured situations for me because you know i didn't audition they didn't have to approve my take on what i was gonna do yeah you know it's like but usually i audition and i show them what i want to do and they they stay they sign off on it and they give me the role but there's one time i did a um there was a couple of times actually but there was one time the first time i think i was ever all just straight up offered a role and they wanted me to play like this italian gangsters like young son and uh for the show aquarius i worked with these guys before and like i don't know what they were expecting but i came in with a straight up character and it was like it was incredibly nerve-wracking and i don't know if i was projecting but like i felt the whole time that they they wanted to fire me <laughs> but they, they were like it, it was like it's like they're not gonna they're not gonna fire me on like a tv show it's a recurring but i definitely remember like seeing the producers before work and they're like michael how's it going oh how's it going good yeah, you go so out happy. there so what you go out there swinging so happy to see you again like yeah. oh my god me too yeah so happy to see you. like okay great and i remember after the first take i go back to them and i'm like and they're like <laughs> 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 they were just i don't know if i read into it or not i probably did it oh I man like i don't think they were expecting me to do that and i was like I was like, I fuck, you know, I put on a character. Like, oh I, no! Like, I, I did the, I did it well. I mean, oh, it was, it might have been a little really charactery, but I pulled it off. Like, I, I, I towed the line for sure. Yeah. But I owned it and I committed and it worked out. But the same as Johnny Depp did. So I think what I'm trying to say is, me and Johnny Depp are, yeah, similar, kind I of love similar. Depp. I'm a huge Johnny Depp fan. Um. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he goes for it. Goes for He's it. got no fear. Oh no, he, he went fear. for it on pirates in a big way, and it, and just crushed it. I mean, it is an incredible character. Did That's he go a- for it in a big way, or did he basically go, "All right, oh fuck, I got to film what next week? What do I got in my repertoire? Fear and loathing. I'll do that one again. I'll just throw in some dreads." I mean, look, he definitely has a thing, right? and that, that kind of uh, it was no, definitely no, no, no. a bit of the fear and loathing thing. But I think he was putting a lot of people that he knew into that character. I think he put Mick Jagger in there. I think he yeah. put Hunter's Thompson in there. I think he, yeah, you know, he kind of put the rum thing. He he just kind of threw these things in that he probably just does well. But it was it was a bold swing. That's great. It worked. Um, 
It worked. It worked. Um, speaking of movie stars and movies, I'm very excited about this movie. So there's a little bit of news about the Napoleon movie. Okay. Yes. Ridley Scott is directing yes. a movie about Napoleon and Joaquin Phoenix is playing Napoleon. Yes. Okay. He was just kind of fucked up. Napoleon and they're not giving it to someone who's like 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. Could you imagine if there was like a height backlash? You know how now if you don't like, you know, you have to yeah. imagine if all the short people were just like, hey. Yeah. Like, apparently, I don't think know? Napoleon. Apparently, I, my father told me, I don't think Napoleon was actually like, I think it was average height. I think it was just like a male. I think friend. that's something short people tell themselves to feel better. Yeah. No. <laughs> Anyways, um, what if short becomes a bad word in like 10 years? Like you can't call people Is short. Is it not already? I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if yeah. like i'm gonna get short shamed like don't yeah. like like how yeah, could yeah. you use the word short when describing yeah. somebody what is short huh yeah yeah it's what relative is yeah it's, it is short relative. is a relative okay. term okay it has you're a shorter than shaquille o'neal yeah are you not short yeah exactly exactly yeah I and then that. but, but then here's the way. question what's the better alternative would you like me to call you height impaired or something yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like is Every that the any day better? you call me height impaired we're gonna have a fucking problem right right like, problem. What, what is the alternative yeah, people no alternative. people temporarily experiencing shortness <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's <laughs> vertically challenged as vertically I challenged that's, that's what i believe it's vertically, it challenged. vertically challenged yeah vertically challenged um so napoleon that should be fun uh dude okay i mean obviously the goal you know you want it to be, like, look, listen listen ridley scott and the gladiator is to me one of the great pieces of that's center. right they work together on the gladiator i was like it was yeah, they work together on the Gladiator. So Gladiator is just one of those movies that I think it's one of the great movies. Certainly in the top 100, in my opinion. If there's a 100 list, 100 best movies, I think Gladiator movie. has to be in that list. Okay. Um, you Maybe I, I'd have to really put some thought into the top 50. Um, but it's one of the greats. It's one of the great movies. It's one of the great epics. We were talking about epics the other day. It's is just, The Rock it, in your it, list? The Rock? Um... It probably could be. It's not as good as uh, Gladiator, The Rock. It's not. Crazy. It doesn't have the emotional weight. Listen, Gladiator, you cry when you watch Gladiator. Gladiator hates. You, never cry. you cried? Wait, you cried during Gladiator? No, don't shame me on that one. Either. What There's moment did you laugh. cry? Dude, the whole, the end, everything, when he's going, when he's going, to, when he's dying, like what they put that man through, it's such. The, the, what works about a movie like Gladiator is. That really taps into the core of being a, a human, but being a man. You know, like we all have this in the DNA. Easy, Cameron. Oh, please. Easy, we all have this Cameron. Thing. Listen, no, a human too. Anyone can get it. Anyone can get it. But we all have it in the DNA, deep down, yeah. where it's like, you know, at one point, someone down in the lineage was wronged by the system, by society. Justice was not served. And we fought. Freedom was taken, Right. Our loved ones killed, maimed in front of us. Like that is so intrinsic to like story, to great story, to the hero's journey. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's such a deep cathartic mm -hmm. thing that when a movie taps it well and connects to that kind of a journey, that kind of a story and does it with power and just does it masterfully, it's epic. It, it's, it is great storytelling it's biblical you know it's it's a story mm -hmm. of biblical proportions the rock ain't that the rock's a badass action thing um it, but it ain't that gladiator i mean and every aspect of it just it works on all levels right so you have the great story about the man wronged and f getting his f you know doing that take it's like taken it's like taken taken's mini that you got to go through the most brutal steps to get what you're trying to go to he had to start at the bottom as yeah, a yeah, slave yeah. gladiator great movie man it's a great, great movie, movie right but then all of that story then coupled with the the music that great song that great woman soundtrack. who sings it right and the song is just it gives you the goosebumps so it's like right it's like this just epic cr war cry you know not as good ah, tell me you didn't watch that movie and at the end of it go ah, like you've never had that moment I'll be Gladiator. honest with you. I like Gladiator a lot. I'll always watch it. I don't have the same feelings about it as you do in terms of being like the top 100 movies. But I do respect that opinion. 
And I do know a lot of people like the soundtrack, and I agree it's a really good soundtrack. Are you not but, entertained? That's a great. I mean, that's a great line, dude. Dude, but, it, it, but, it has. It's but, got lines that are quotable. It's got but, the music. It's got the story. I mean, it there just, is. You know the soundtrack that I would listen to and get fucking jacked up. I listened to it before my road test when I was sixteen. Mm. Uh, Last of the Mohicans. To go on. It's more than good. It's way better. Go listen to Last of the Mohicans again and tell me you don't want to just go to battle. I mean, it's, I will find you no matter how far, no matter how long, I will find you. Yo, that was a stud in that movie. Great movie. Not taking anything away from that. Great movie. Um, um Bad action sequences in that movie, though. It's not the greatest action sequences. Look, it's I not. I mean, they, 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 they Listen, it wasn't similar, done well. In terms of that. Two similar types yeah. of movies. Epics. Yeah. yeah. Period. Pieces um, about. Yeah. war and the things that our ancestors went through that we will never have to go through you know what i mean like yeah. battles battles yeah. and that when you tell a story about that it, it just when it's done right man it hits and gladiator is done right anyways napoleon one hope now look you know ridley scott is also he did the moses movie with christian bale which i don't even know if you saw it i no. saw it um, because I'm just a huge Ridley Scott fan. It you know, it didn't pack the same punch. Yeah, yeah. like I saw bits of it. You know, it, it and they were thinking, oh, this is perfect biblical epic. It's like a gladiator, but a biblical story. You know, all the Christians are gonna love it, but everyone loves it. It's a Bible story, right? It just that movie did you know did not work out like that for them. No, 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 um no. Napoleon. So epic. Very interesting. Joaquin Phoenix. Great Joaquin actor. Phoenix. I mean, the guy. Great actor. Playing great Napoleon. actor. Okay. So, you know, he's going to be wonderful to watch. That and motherfucker then, is an actor. And then, but, but, I, but I have to believe that there's going to be something a little different when it comes to Napoleon, because I would, if I was writing the, the Napoleon movie, my first instinct would be gladiator meets Scarface, right? Because Napoleon is not to me like, you know, Russell Crowe and gladiator. Napoleon was a beast. Napoleon was a, a war god. Napoleon was a great general. Napoleon was a guy who just, dude, he ran through the world, okay? He went, he fought Russia. He came to America. He took over a bunch of the America. I mean, like this, they put him in prison. He broke out of the prison, okay? They finally, I think France even, I forget, they finally got him, put him away for life. And the motherfucker broke out, got an army, started another war. Like this was a guy. This was a guy. You know, this, this was, guy. this was, they don't make him like this anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this was, and Napoleon. this was like, like El Chapo is like a little bit of like, has got, got a little bit of that going on. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, mm. you know, army of people behind him leading a war, billions mm. of dollars. Mm. They get him in jail. They break him out of jail. He yeah, keeps, yeah, you know, yeah. like, it's like, a, I don't know why Napoleon complex gets such a bad name. Say that again. I don't know why Napoleon Complex is such a negative term then, you know? I mean, this was a guy. Yeah. <laughs> happy to have a Napoleon Complex. No, no, but that's why that's where the Scarface comes in. That's why I say Scarface, yeah. because I'm not, he's not a perfect, he's a flawed character for sure. Right, but right, he right. ran it up. Yeah. He ran it up. Yeah. You, know what I mean? you, you like, imagine yeah. Napoleon like sitting in like his tent, like sideways on the couch, smoking a fucking cigar. Hand in the shirt. Just, Hand in the shirt. Just, just Scarface. Like, like, we want to go out of the way, man. Tell them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> like, you know, it looked at however he, you know, Napoleon. I'm telling you right now, Cameron, if I walked into Napoleon and saw that, I'd sue them. <laughs> I would sue them 100%. I'd be like, I want my fucking money back because I don't know what I just saw. Yeah. But that was not Napoleon. Yeah. That was Scarface. Yeah. And now I'm suing you. Yeah. False advertisement. Well, this has been a good one. Good chat. All right. Good Got a chat. lot to talk about. Bro. Talk with you soon. All right. Have a good late. Bye.